By using accelerators, scientists have achieved many fundamental discoveries regarding the structure of matter. At CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, the Large Hadron Collider, or the LHC, has recently led to the discovery of the Higgs boson. The LHC is located at the border of France and Switzerland in a ring of superconducting magnets tunnel of more than 27 kilometers. But accelerators are commonly used and the annual market for industrial accelerator is estimated to several billion of euros. They use radiofrequency cavities to accelerate charged particles to speed close to the speed of light. Electric fields within these cavities are limited to few ten of megavolt per meter. So this technology requires building accelerators increasingly large to continue to obtain more and more energetic particles. To address this issue, I decided to look more into the plasma medium. A plasma medium is a ionized medium consisting of free electrons and ions. And because we have free electrons, the plasma can sustain a very large electric field with value that can exceed 1,000 or 10,000 times uh, greater value than those that are used in conventional accelerators. A plasma combined with laser within the accelerator thus may open new doors for the future. By focusing an intense laser pulse on the gas target, the giant electric field strip the atom and remove the electron from the ions and it creates the plasma medium. And the laser will push the electron away from the ions. So it creates what we call the laser wake field. This is very similar of a boat that creates a wave in its wake on the lake. If this wave is sufficiently large, the surfers can use it to gain the speed. And this is exactly what we do in our experiment. We have a plasma wave and the electrons are like the surfers. They are trapped by the wave and they are accelerated to relativistic uh, speed. FUS at LOE, Laboratoire d'Optique Appliqué or Applied Optic Laboratory, we produce a huge waves behind the laser pulse. And we use them to accelerate electrons. We have had to face 10 years ago, to many scientific and technological challenges to do so. But with our experiments, we have now succeeded in producing a beam of particles and of X-ray that are very similar to the best that are obtained today with conventional accelerators, but only within a few meters machine. The scientific revolution opens many perspectives and applications. For example, in material science, laser plasma accelerator can be used to inspect dense matter without destroying heat. For example, they are used to detect cracks in critical components of nuclear power plants, tanks and pipes. In another domain, in radiotherapy, there are experiments to do a follow-up of the survival and repair rate of human cells irradiated by electron beams. The study of the effect of ionizing radiation therapy on living tissue could help to improve cancer treatment. In medical imaging, X-ray beams are used to produce images with unprecedented resolution. This imaging technique, which is called a phase contrast image, is unique by the high resolution of a few micrometers. Applied to the case of breast cancer, it could help to detect a cancer tumor at the very early stage and therefore to cure it more efficiently. 